can't even explain it. I come out in the morning, drink my coffee, and just sit there and look at that and think, I, I have an entire museum in my front yard. James Lang bought his property without even visiting it in person after retiring from a law career in Chicago. Kinds of, once you start looking at it, yeah. you can see all kinds of things. He was hoping for a peaceful retirement, but one day on a walk, he noticed something sticking out of the wash with footprints. It had a front and a rear on it. So I'm picking this up, looking to think, this is amazing. So I'm, I'm hauling this rock up. We had walked so a quarter mile and realized that there had to be more down there, you know. It started a five-year journey of retrieving slabs of rocks with preserved chirotherium tracks. Well, these aren't actually dinosaurs. These are pre-dinosaurs. Um, they're archosaurs. They're big reptiles. But um, it's called chirotherium because it looks like a hand. So chiro means hand. Ethereum means monster or beast. He knew he had something incredible. So he reached out to Spencer Lucas at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science, who brought a team of paleontologists to Lang's home. So the, the animals were not walking on the sandstone. They were walking on the clay. And then when the sandstone was deposited, was laid down, it filled in. It was clear this discovery was one of a kind. It is the most extensive and well-preserved footprint locality of its age in North America, which makes it one of the best in the world. Now there's a scientific paper on the tracks and they're at the New Mexico Museum for further study and soon they'll be on display. Lang says he wants to keep finding more tracks and hopes to get them in museums across the U.S. to inspire the next generation to dig for their own dinosaurs. Well, I think it's great. I've got a friend who I grew up with since first grade whose grandson out in California has been following along. I've been sending him pictures and I sent him some tracks and he's just blown away. And I thought, well, if he's going to be the next paleontologist, that's pretty cool, you know. Reporting in Snowflake, Mason Carroll for Arizona's